Hello, hello. That is the special um, film dedicated for my dear supporters uh, from the, my YouTube channel. Ingrid Kern, Krzysztof Krzysztof, Łukasz Zmarzły, uh, Prawomocny. Just uh, uh, and uh, other supports that they, if they want to support Tom Guide Krakow. I'm in Treblinka. That's the just nice sounded name um, uh, of the village, but it's the um, place of the six death camps uh, in the territory of general government, Nazi Germany camp uh, Treblinka. I traveled 120 kilometers from Warsaw and here in the forest the signal is weak. That's why I did the for Hago Voyagers uh, the live streaming in the ramp uh, in the village and here in the forest we see the extermination camp uh, Treblinka, Treblinka 2. Uh, what, everything started just, uh, um, uh, just with the uh, Holocaust and the beginning of the Blitzkrieg. The Germans organized the biggest ghetto in Europe in Warsaw and here was the forced labor camp Treblinka 1 with the old uh, gravel path uh, just uh, located uh, in the um, deeper background. We see that the, the later but look at this. this is the live stream that's why just I don't want to turn camera you could feel like a tourist like a guided by me and we entering the camp. Look at this. Uh, just. Uh, Here's the uh, railway, uh, the connected Warsaw with St. Petersburg. They're going uh, there, you see the, on the, that, that part, is just mirroring. <laughs> and uh, mm, then you see the territory of the uh, first extermination camp Treblinka II. And deeper was the gravel path and uh, forced labor workers, they were Poles and Jews. They had to uh, just uh, excavate the gravel just uh, for supporting and we so uh, reinforced the streets, uh, the roads. Uh, and uh, today, if you walk over such enchanting forest, uh, 17 hectare big was the territory of the both camps, um, you could get the, some sound of the wishing, or we say squeezing, because there was the, just the bones and uh, ashes that were used as the fertilizer for the, just the farming. After uh, blowing up and destroying the, the camp, Germans wanted cover trucks. They took the Ukrainian family. They got the here uh, farming uh, um, uh, own farm and uh, the ashes were used as fertilizer, imagine. And uh, even uh, the, in the roads, uh, there's uh, just the, some uh, pieces of bones that still they could be found. The first uh, archaeologist was the, uh, from London, Caroline. Uh, just the uh, Caroline Sturdy ca uh, call. And uh, in 1985, uh, the group of this uh, British American archaeologists uh, international team researched the places and they're looking for gas chambers. How was the procedure here after uh, coming to camp? Mm, you know, there were different uh, trains arrived here. Each train, they got the even several thousand of uh, um, uh, Jews. Uh, in each car, there could be even 120, 150 even. And there were such even 60 cars uh, in, the, in the one train. And there was even 16 trains that could arrive here. The commandant, Franz Stangl, uh, he was the uh, experienced killer in the euthanasia program in Germany, Operation T4. Uh, he wanted, uh, he was the competitor of uh, commandant of Auschwitz, Rudolf Hoess. He uh, said here, the gas gassing here was with the old Russian tanks. The engine and the, uh, was in the full power and uh, the exhausting fumes, they could kill even uh, 6,000 uh, Jews uh, a day. Uh, or just they want to get the such efficiency that every 20 minutes there's 6,000 uh, killed uh, because there were 16 trains imagine, imagine with the such transports from Warsaw Ghetto the biggest transport arrived here uh, the, with the Janusz Korczak and the August 1942 there was the killed Janusz Korczak Henrik Goldschmidt uh, look at this at the forest silence trees up there was the also last view from them. Listen to the, the trees. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the January, but it's the uh, climate changing. We've got the f g uh, wind chill factor about plus 16 degrees Celsius. 
there's a just the, uh, without thinking, just I traveled 120 kilometers extra to do the Hago live streaming, but not here. Here was the worst signal and I did on the ramp in the village. What was the procedure? We uh, uh, getting now to the entrance uh, because it's the live stream. I don't change camera. <laughs> You've got the mirror in view but I, uh, you feel like a guided by Tom. Uh, look at this, that is a just main uh, gate stood here. Today uh, there are no remains of fence. The fence was the three meters high and uh, mm, they, uh, they had to walk from the railway station or they just transfer by lorry. Um, that was the three kind of uh, Zonderkommando, that of the commandos. There was the uh, uh, blue commando responsible uh, for the taking goods from them and preparing them to the uh, undressing room. They accompanying them to the undressing room. Uh, then was the red commando responsible for sorting and blue, uh, yellow commando just uh, for the uh, taking the dead bodies and to the graves uh, and uh, bury them. Here was no crematorium and uh, at first uh, there was the, just the railway station like in the just uh, idyllic village. Nothing. That's uh, just the uh, suspicious. Even orchestra played the music. Um, especially, they came also trains with the luxurious trains from France. That is the most shocking. They were deceived to get the new work uh, and new perspective, or they're just going to holidays. You know, they especially that territory is not on the village of uh, Treblinka. They they took especially the uh, neighborhood village with the nice sounded name Treblinka. Just it sounds like a holiday camp. Uh, they even uh, took the some ski. Uh, skiers, uh, they thought they going to any resort uh, uh, just uh, for holiday. And especially Western European Jews were deceived in the such form. And uh, uh, they, uh, after Warsaw, in Wyoming, for instance, they've got the such testimony, the windows were wired and they asked why we wired our windows in the Pullman wagons, in the luxurious saloon, saloons uh, in the train. Ah, just uh, you would be good protected from the bandits. There was the such a form. But there was also good poles. Uh, there was the railway man here in Maukinia, in Treblinka, that uh, he gave the glass of water and because of helping Jews, he was shot. That the railway, Polish railway, now is the monument commemorating the um, uh, that is that brave railway worker. That's just the, they gave such such gesture. That's why always good people are still uh, to find. Look at this. There's such big, huge blocks uh, over three meters high. Um, they making frontier of the uh, camp uh, Treblinka to extermination camp, and this is like a symbolic gate entrance to the to the camp. And in one moment. Uh, you see the uh, blocks uh, uh, they in the in uh, putting on the, in the row uh, just uh, this this uh, like a frontier of Treblinka. You see up that the trees also they're making uh, frontier. That's why it's such a 17 hectare a big uh, camp. But uh, no uh, crematoria. The, mm, uh, we say Cyclone B was the too expensive, and Franz Stangl, uh, the co commandant, uh, they uh, they used the old Russian tanks. Uh, what happened with him after war? He emigrated to Brazil. You know there were rat lines and. Uh, he managed uh, to get the good passport uh, uh, in Vatican and uh, they, between the 100,000 Nazi Germans uh, they, uh, he was uh, in, um, uh, just in Brazil. Uh, maybe he met even uh, Dr. Mengele because he was also a lucky Nazi person. And uh, you know Simon Wiesenthal, they uh, started to research, he was the Nazi hunter started looking for uh, for the Nazis and uh, Simon Wiesenthal uh, captured uh, him. He was, there was the process against the Franz Stangl and uh, sentenced to the life sentence, but he wasn't uh, uh, just killed. There was the life sentence after one year died in the prison. Maybe too much stress, but it was also a signal for Dr. Mengele he shouldn't feel uh, um, you know, stressless. Uh, look at this. Uh, I walking ag uh, along the stones marking the frontier of the camp, and that is the rail track. The trains arrived. The train got the length even over 600 meters, 60 wagons. Imagine people exhausted after traveling several days without water and food. Suddenly they were deceived to get the 
bath. Uh, they they got even towel, uh, towels and soap. Uh, uh, such deceiving tricks were used because they wanted to keep them calm. How a uh, big service was there here in the Treblinka? Very small. It's the shock. 20 or 30 SS men, uh, Austrians, Germans, and 100 Ukrainians, so-called blackies. Mm, they were very cruel towards the, the prisoners. <laughs> it's uh, all. That's why the prisoners started to think about uprising. Uh, you know, the uh, one uh, uprising was the much more revolt, but the hundreds of prisoners started to escape. Uh, st the, started the big fire in the camp and uh, fighting also, and uh, 70 uh, prisoners lucky escaped. Uh, between them, Samuel Willenberg. If you want to watch the YouTube channel, you could find the interview with Samuel uh, Willenberg. A very, very nice, uh, very uh, warm person. Uh, he described the, uh, what happened here. There was even uh, such uh, cruel methods of the killing because they wanted spare bullets. Instead, instead of just the killing with bullets, just the uh, chopping the the live body, uh, just uh, uh, the live person, uh, just with with uh, eggs, eggs, horrible scenes. Or uh, that was the scene: the mother with child, and uh, the SS men. Uh, they uh, they uh, ask Mandy if she's got the choice: killing a first baby or her. And she said, "Please, please uh, kill me. The safe life of baby." And. Uh, that was the, the death of baby. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Silence. Yes, that's that's why. Um, no, yes, that's good. That is the private tour because uh, you know the. Let's keep the little silence. No one is here, and that I think is the best proof uh, about the, uh, such matters. You couldn't uh, make the, the big show uh, viewership. I think is that just the, the, the such uh, <laughs> call of duty for me to, to make the such films, but uh, sometimes it's very hard, you know. Uh, between my uh, uh, ancestors is the uncle, brother of grandfather Alexander Witowiecki. He uh, uh, he was uh, arrested by Gestapo as the lawyer, 31 years old. He didn't want to collaborate with uh, Nazis, sent to Auschwitz, and uh, after one month uh, he's got the tuberculosis and uh, he was the killed with the injection into heart. That was uh, su such uh, horrible, uh, you know, the victim of the, my, my family. And... Uh, just we still walking, imagine there's the whole ramp, uh, there's the ramp uh, in the extermination camp uh, uh, Treblinka and the Treblinka too. But look at this parallel, uh, there are stones three meters high, that was the uh, marking of the camp. We are just at the edge of, of uh, um, Treblinka too. In one moment we see the main monument. Uh, very touching with hundreds uh, of stones with the uh, names of the, of the, of the, uh, the different countries. Uh, there were the transport to uh, Treblinka, uh, France, Germany, Austria, Czechoslovakia, and uh, mm, uh, Yugoslavia, and uh, uh, even such so far away a country, a place. But uh, imagine here was the ramp that was the unloading them as quick as feasible, uh, the road, uh, um, uh, the route between the um, bathrooms uh, and the bathroom, the, the undressing rooms and uh, uh, the gas chamber was the called Himmelfahrtsweg. Uh, it means the assumption, uh, assumption uh, way, uh, like a uh, Chris or so, there's just uh, was absolutely mocking name. Mm, given by Germans, and uh, mm, uh, then uh, the road was also called hose because it was the, like a hose very narrow, and uh, there was the planted the hedge, uh, 
hedgehog, uh, the, the um, hedges uh, that are just to making uh, such green area. Look at this, we're coming close to the main monument with menorah on the place on the former gas chambers. That was the center of um, uh, the just extermination camp. And then the names uh, of the uh, 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 countries, there were uh, victims uh, transported to, uh, to Treblinka. At first, uh, let me there read, read them, uh, uh, Soviet Union in that time, uh, Russia, Belgia, uh, Yugoslavia, France, uh, uh, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Bulgaria, Niemcy, Germany, Austria, those are just the Greece and Macedonia. Uh, that is the, just the first uh, stones, right of me. The, they are like a Maceva, Macevot. Um, that is the, the uh, like a little, uh, the huge uh, Jewish cemetery. They, especially the project was in 60s. Uh, they wanted to show that is the Jewish cemetery and the main majority of victims here, there were Jews over uh, 900,000, even they depicting one million, one million victims uh, uh, of, of uh, Treblinka. Mm, that is the, one of the biggest uh, death camps, but not visited uh, density of visitors like in Auschwitz. In Auschwitz, thousands of visitors every day. Look at this. One family on the bikes, I suppose, from Germany just arrived. So, by bikes, for sightseeing, few people. There's such place that uh, in uh, the same almost amount than uh, in Auschwitz. In Auschwitz, there were killed one million Jews, but the thousands visitors every single day. And here, just one family on the bikes. That is uh, just the proof, the difference and silence, all around silence. But you know, there's such places, heartbreaking, because uh, as you see, the, the, the coming the tears to eyes is, uh, is hard to say. Here we're making the tourist spot, that place should be visited like Auschwitz. Maybe there's a such um, destiny of that place that such, uh, should be such isolated, uh, not popular, we say, not popular place. Look at this, I, especially I show you digging of mass graves, because at the end of war, in 1943, if the, by Stalingrad, uh, uh, Germany was the defeated, they are uh, afraid of the consequences. That's why Himmler ordered to dig out the graves and uh, they taking out the corpses and burning them of the special con constructed, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, grates, uh, like a grilling, like a grill, like a huge grill. And uh, look at this, I'm getting between the hundreds of stones between me. There's the all around, uh, you see, that is the like a ocean of stones, uh, hundreds of stones, and each stone is the name of the Jewish communities uh, that were disappeared. One, uh, uh, one stone is the just like a, uh, one a Jewish uh, community from that, that part. And, just the, and uh, we uh, walking a uh, little bit uh, just uh, to the main monument. Uh, that, that is uh, just all speaks uh, volumes. Uh, that is the Horoszcz, Grudek Biały, just with Raciąż, Jałówki, the small communities, but it's uh, much uh, bigger cities, of course, that are close the main, uh, main, uh, main monument, as it just be getting closer. Look at this, that's just the, the still the, the Jews, instead of flowers, they're putting stones uh, to commemorate their own um, uh, ancestors. That's just this. It is the tradition from the Cain and Abel. Cain killed his brother and put the stone on the grave. That's by the such, such form. And have a look, uh, the most touching, with rainbow behind. Look at this, rainbow appeared, is there for the good luck. The hope, we say the rainbow was always symbol between Noah and God, like uh, connecting earth with heaven and again earth. Rainbow, rainbow over the monument. That is the very special moment. Oh my God, that's just first time. Look at this rainbow, rainbow is appearing. 
and uh, the slit inside is the also meaning like a breaking break broken life uh, at the top of monument you see the um, rising hands up uh, that's uh, like a just blessing of the priest of the uh, of the um, uh, jewish priest as uh, just the such rabbi is the blessing hands at the top um, We've got the also uh, commemorating a Jewish community from Kielce that happened the pogrom after Second World War, Kielce on the part. And uh, we've got the inscription never again, uh, that's the, uh, jamais plus ni vider, uh, never again, that's the just in Hebrew also. Look at this, that's the just the such inscription, is the like a, on the first cover photo on the tour I put in the part. Yes, and uh, we've got also commemorating Janusz Korczak and his children, we say from the orphan school. Germans offered him collaboration, but he said no, no, no. And together with other uh, very important Jewish teacher, um, uh, that was the just uh, um, Stefania. Uh, Stefania, uh, she was the educated Jew from Switzerland. She didn't want uh, to come back. To, uh, she came especially from uh, Switzerland to uh, be in the ghetto and support Korczak. That is the Stefania is the very, very important person, I think. And uh, she was also there, was uh, killed here in Treblinka. That's why the hundreds of names, uh, each stone, like uh, one uh, uh, Jewish community, um, and it speaks volumes. Look at this, that is just the, like in the two groups. And uh, between the, uh, that monument and the second part is the um, 200 meters long, uh, the grill, uh, the place that uh, the bodies were excavated and burned then on the grade. There was the, that's such, such, uh, we walking closer and you see rainbow behind. Yes, you see rainbow. And look at this, the second part of the monument is important. We are orientating to the east and from the east side, look at this, uh, is the menorah. That's the, just the menorah. Of course, the symbol uh, of the seven arms uh, of the Orthodox Jews, the majority of the killed uh, Jews, they were Orthodox Jews, Hasidic Jews. Hasid, it means the very pious Jews. They were just uh, uh, burned here. Uh, just Even some, they were just, uh, those horrible scenes happened here. We go walking on the territory of mass grave. And that uh, even with the children crying, they smashed the children alive uh, into the uh, flames. Because the, during the burning of bodies, that was also executions happened. A, the, and then uh, Zonderkommando, they were bearer of secret, they were witness of crime, they were also killed after the action. That's why all uh, members of Zonderkommando, they lived not longer than four months. They were just also uh, executed on that part. Yes, and we're getting to the very special Speaks Volumes 3 and slowly still get, getting to the end. Mm, uh, big thanks again, my uh, dear uh, their, uh, supporters. Uh, please uh, uh, the, write your wishes, uh, uh, which uh, tours you would like uh, to see again or uh, the new, uh, new places. Mm, uh, for that tour, I traveled extra 120 kilometers from Warsaw and today I'm coming uh, 120 kilometers back with my wife that researching matters with the Jewish heritage and uh, she's researching just now in the territory of camp. Mm -hmm. Look at this, that is just the hundreds of uh, tombstones, like a speaks volumes at the end of the such um, short tour because I don't want to make the long uh, uh, live uh, streamings. Mm, the most important part of the camp is the, uh, you know, protected very important, the uh, state of Poland that uh, protected that place. Mm, researching was done, they discovered some bones. There was even the bone, uh, the tooth of shark, but uh, that was the proof that they took the, the soil from camp number one. And they, because the such tooth shark, they should be on the level minus uh, 40 meters down. That's why the uh, soil was taken from the very deep uh, la layers and buried uh, and uh, covered here. That's why here, just under my feet, uh, wishing um, uh, just the grass, uh, the, the, the tons of ashes, bones, and the, one of the biggest cemeteries next to Auschwitz, but uh, not visited like Auschwitz. Look at this, one, two, three, three people just they came to the monument in Auschwitz, thousands of people every day. That is the difference, Treblinka and Auschwitz. 
that is just there, uh, it speaks volumes. Big thanks for uh, your attention. Uh, see you in the other uh, new um, places, always in English, because the, the subtitles are generated by YouTube uh, in English and then it's translated in um, German or um, Polish. All the best to you and yours. Bye bye. Thank you. Never again.